Hey there and welcome back everybody. Now we're going to use a different app called Grid. And since I have been using this one, there may be other options out there that you can let me know about. But again, this is a free ad, not without some issues, but because it's free, we like that. Uh, again, pulling down to search, I had already started to type this in. It's just a, a green box with a letter G and kind of a hashtag looking grid over the top. Uh, in the upper right hand corner, uh, is a camera icon and I want to use that in order to get to the image that I'm, I'm going to be using. And come into albums and recents, I'm going to open this image right here. It's got all these red lines on there I, and I kind of need to ignore that for now, but that's how I get to the image that I want to use. In the upper left, the, the slider looking bars with the dots on them are my kind of settings. And I want to use those settings to be able to, to set some things. Well, it's kind of <laughs> lame, but that's what I'm going to, I'm going to change some things. Uh, the first thing that I want to do is I want to, to look at my grid type. Uh, for our purposes in, in this demo and the project, I want you to use squares only. I don't care if you set the rows, which go left to right, or the columns, which go top to bottom. That is up to you, but I want you to set squares only. And uh, I'm going to click back here. I'm going to bring this up to 10 rows. Uh, in this particular image, uh, in the in a previous Snapseed tutorial, I created an image that was 5 by 4, so this should give me an even number of squares throughout. Uh, I don't love this grid color. Um, and, you know, I can I can change it around and I can give myself whatever I want. I, I don't know what works for you. I can't go white. Maybe I do need to go grid, or sorry, red. But I'm going to take my line width. I'm going to go down one and, and see what happens. And then I will click Save. Oh, for some reason it's not. Oh, there we go. I'm going to click Save. Okay, so I've just got to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight across one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten from top to bottom. Great. That's what I want. Uh, you know, you don't want the lines too thick. You don't want a, a weird cutoff of your squares in any way. If you're, you're running into any problems like that, it means the image isn't quite set up the way you need it to be. At this point, what you want to do is actually two things because sometimes it all works out and sometimes for whatever reason this ad crops a few things here and there. So I'm going to start by just taking a screenshot of my image. I'm going to get rid of that. That's that's just in case. Um, if I press and hold, I get this pop-up. I can save the grid and image or I can save the grid on a transparent background. I need the grid and the image, so I'm just going to click on that a lot of times this app comes up. I don't need that. It tells me my image is saved, which is great. So now if I go to my Photos app, I should have that here. Um, you should double check this just visually. Sometimes uh, the perimeter row or columns will get cropped for, for whatever reason. Uh, it doesn't look like it's done that this time, but that's also why we have this screenshot in here just as kind of an insurance policy. But, but this gives us eight rows across and eight squares across and 10 squares from top to bottom. And, and this is what we need to work on our next project. So use the grid app. Once your image is converted and, and edited the way you need it. And as always, have fun.